And hello there. Welcome back to more Honkai Star Rail. Breaking. Anyway. Uh, yes, so today a new event has been made available. The Garden of Plenty. Now this is very nice because we can just go to either the Goldman or the Crimson Calyx in order to grind out materials. Now, if your account is near the uh, upper limits of your trailblazer level i highly suggest doing these with the experience wise or the uh, light cone upgrade materials gold maybe or well, credits if you if you actually need it but for the lower for the lower level account i highly recommend doing the crimson ones as this can provide a decent boost to your characters so if we look at sealer for example if we go to the traces we need to grind out these things these arrows of demon slayers and whatnot now that provides quite a lot of buffs should have actually been upgrading these so for example here okay these are terrible thing to use an example because we can't actually get those things anyway these one. The Obsidian of Dread. So let's just come and take a teleport here where we can get double up to 12 times. Uh, 12 times per day, I believe it is. So, yeah, simply just put it on to Challenge Wave 6 because then you'll clear it 6 times. And then you just re challenge it. You'll clear it all 12 times. So let us just sit on auto battle for a bit. And then we shall see what happens. And with that, we have completed the challenge. So as you see, it says extra when you've completed the challenge because it will give you bonus rewards. Here on the right side is what you would have gotten should it have just been a normal regular day. Everything on the left that says extra above it on the top left corner is the bonuses that we've gotten for completing the challenges while the event is currently on. This Garden of Plenty event will be going on for approximately seven days. So that's a week of grinding out double the amount of materials that you may need for your characters. A very good event in my opinion. May not be able to earn Stellar Jade. But upgrading characters is very difficult, because why? You've got traces that you need to upgrade, you've got light cones you need to upgrade, and you have the actual character themselves to upgrade. And trust me, late game leveling them from 70 to 80 takes a ridiculous amount of those XP books. So I do highly recommend focus on either the XP ones, the light cone upgrade ones, or whatever your main eight characters are. Yes, eight characters. Because if we go to the Forgotten Hall, these, eventually you need to be running them with eight characters instead of just four. So, that is my suggestions for this event. I do hope you guys enjoy the event, and I shall see you next time.